Hello, this is Ben from Computer World. In this demonstration today, I'm going to look at the Service Composer functionality found within NSX Manager. To get started, first of all, I'm going to have a look at the groups and tags. We're going to go over to the security tags along the top, along the right hand side. And here we can see some pre created security tags that we can use in this demonstration or even in our real environment. So I'm just going to pick the antivirus.virus found security tag. I'm going to copy the name to the clipboard. Then I'm going to go into Service Composer. So the first step is I'm going to create a new security group. I'm going to call this Quarantine VMs. So next, I'm going to go to the membership option. And then I'm going to say the security tag needs to be equal to. I'm going to paste in the name of the security tag I copied earlier called antivirus.virus found. And click next. I'm not going to set any other criteria or exclude any objects and then click finish. So we've now got a new group called quarantine VMs. Next, I'm going to create a new security policy by clicking add and then give the security policy a name. I'm going to call it isolate VM security policy. I'm not using any guest introspection, so I'm just going to skip forward and I'm going to click add to create two new rules. The first rule is going to be block outbound traffic. So this is going from the policy security group to any destination and click OK. And remember to click block. The next rule is going to block inbound traffic. To so give the rule a name, block inbound traffic. This time it's any source. Go into the destination of the policy security group and make sure to tick block and click OK. So now I've got my two rules created. I'm not going to use any other network introspection services. I'm just going to click next, next again, and then finish. So I've now created my first security policy. Now I'm going to link my security policy to the security group I created earlier called Quarantine VMs. So now those two have been linked. What that means is any virtual machine that's a member of that security group will now get this policy applied to it. So if I hop back over to the firewall, I can now see we have a service composer created a set of rules. And I'm just going to move this set of rules to the top. And to allow this demonstration to work, I just need to disable another block ping rule. Then hit publish and this push this configuration down to my hosts. So now what I'm going to do is launch a command prompt and I'm going to start to ping from my control center virtual machine. So this desktop I'm on at the moment and I'm going to ping the virtual machine called web VM one. And we've now got replies coming from web VM one. So we have inbound traffic to that virtual machine. Now launch the console to web VM one. So I've changed the color here to make it a bit easier to see. I'm now going to ping within VM one, my default gateway. So now we've got outbound connectivity from this virtual machine. So next I'm going to go over to vCenter. I need to use the flash client, unfortunately for this. What I now need to do is put an NSX security tag onto this virtual machine. Now, in the real world, this would be automatically done by an antivirus solution such as Bitdefender. But I don't have that set up in my lab today, so I'm going to manually add the tag. So I'm going to add the tag antivirus virus found. What that means is because that tag's now on that virtual machine, the virtual machine becomes a member of this group called Quarantine VMs. And that Quarantine VMs has a policy applied to it within Service Composer that blocks all traffic inbound and outbound. So if we go back over to our rules, here we have Service Composer again. So now what we can see is our Quarantine VMs group. It's now got one virtual machine within it. So if we click VM details, we can see that web VM1 is now a member of this group. That's because it has the tag applied to it. So now we've got our traffic blocked. What we can do now is go back over to vCenter and remove that tag. So in the real world, what would happen is our antivirus solution would clean up this virtual machine. Once it's happy that it's no longer a threat, 
it can then remove the tag from the virtual machine. So now once that's done, it's no longer a member of this security group called Quarantine VMs. So it no longer gets the policy applied to it. And what we'll see here now is we have both inbound and outbound connectivity restored. So we're getting responses from our pings. So what we've seen in this demonstration is the use of Service Composer within SX Manager to automatically apply firewall rules based on a set of criteria. So the scenario we used here was a virus being found on the virtual machine, which then put an NSX security tag on this VM. And this meant that our security policy was applied. And in this example, this was to isolate the virtual machine from the network. In the real world, what we'd probably do is just isolate this from the rest of the network, but allow it to talk to our AV server so the virus can be removed. I hope you found this video useful and thanks very much for watching.